the mastery of winning. Uh, why such a topic? Uh, in Polish, so you, most of you speak or understand Polish, so the, uh, there is a confusion about the mistrz and zwycięzca, master, champion and winner. And uh, the way I'd like to bring with me the little walk, uh, it's about the mastery. Because I believe that uh, winning is an, an act. And uh, mastery, this is a championship champion, uh, re regarding sport champion, this is something uh, about the way. I started uh, my sport adventure from the combat sport, from judo. And uh, as you probably know, the part of the uh, name of the combat sport, Do, in Japanese, means way. Uh, before we start our walk, I would like to invite you to, uh, to four-minute highlights of my sport way, and, uh, and then we'll come back to, to subject, and uh, I think we'll all uh, discover uh, the recipes for the, for the mastery. Uh, so the film is about my uh, Olympic uh, and, uh, and, and uh, European and uh, World Championship achievement. Uh, it's based on the TVP uh, pictures. Uh, okay, let the show begin. I hope it's okay. Thank you, Tom. No? English subtitle. niezwykłego Robert Korzeniowski czwarty tytuł mistrza olimpijskiego trzy igrzyska z rzędu tego w polskim sporcie nie dokonał nikt Polak będzie drugi na stadionie czy będzie drugi na mecie No niestety. W tym momencie sędziowie zdjęli Roberta Korzeniowskiego. Po 49 kilometrach. Obiecywał, że będzie dobry występ. Zrezygnował z 20 kilometrów i jest brązowy medal dla Polaków. Wreszcie osiągnął to, co chciał. To zmierza ku najlepszemu finałowi, jaki mogliśmy sobie wyobrazić. Cały stadion, yes. cały z miejsc. Ostatnie metry, ale zwycięstwo, tak! Złoty medal Polski! To 
jest naprawdę wielki wynik. Po raz drugi zostaje mistrzem świata. Robert Korzeniowski wchodzi po kolejny wspaniały sukces. Piękną nam opowieść zafundował sportową. Tyle wzruszeń mu zawdzięczamy przez te kilkanaście lat jego startów. Thank you. I hope. Yeah. Down. Down. Ah, uh, down here. Oh, fine. Okay. So I have to improve. Yeah, fine. Um, as you as you heard, probably. So it's it's all about emotions. Sports. It's it's very emotional way of. Uh, express um, uh, our act of living and uh, in uh, this movie you have seen uh, the uh, tears after Barcelona's defeat the uh, explosions of happiness uh, Barcel Jesus okay fine this is the point uh, fine okay but this is my personal scale of uh, judgment, emotional judgment uh, of my sport career, 20 years of sport career. And uh, you can believe or not, uh, but I was prohibited to practice any sport when I was uh, nine up to 12 years old. Uh, I suffered of uh, rheumatic uh, disease. Uh, I had the beginning of asthma. Uh, and I was on the treatment on antibiotics and uh, even uh, being in sanatorium uh, I was banned from uh, being a Nordic uh, ski runner and sent to um, uh, Luz, uh, Slade, uh, Sanki Slade, yeah because it was easier and uh, um, and, and less risky for my heart. Uh, I mentioned the, uh, the, the combat sport because they, what ch really changed my life, uh, I, I saw the movie, uh, the, the Bruce Lee movie, The Way of Dragon. Five times in a row, one week, and then I decided to, to become Bruce Lee. Bad luck uh, in my city was not... Uh, uh, Kung Fu section, no karate, uh, so I found it Judo for a very short time, only one year. It was the war state time, so the police uh, had suspended my Judo section and for one more time I have been banned from my favorite occupation. Bad luck again or just another challenge? So I believe that uh, in, in, in life, uh, sometimes we, uh, we believe that uh, some circumstances or casualty brought us to something. Um, yes or not depends uh, how open we are, how capable we are to benefit of such uh, circumstances. So being banned of judo pushed me to athletics for temporary solution until being back to judo uh, which took 20 years in my life uh, first uh, first competition in 84 uh, was very evangelic from message before i became olympic champion you know uh, the sentence about uh, the last one will be first I was even not the last one. I was looped, 
by one lap, but sec by second last. So I finished really last one uh, in in, uh, in Poznan competition, uh, my first ever um, uh, Polish championships. But my career started afterwards uh, thanks of good sports management who decided to um, uh, uh, to invite us to um, to sport camp on the uh, sand uh, gold sand beach in Romania. It was so great for me because uh, being little child in uh, I heard about the gray Poland at the communist time I always dream um, uh, I, I, I always um, uh, dream about traveling and discovering the world and then I realized that through sport I can really uh, go and discover world be belong to more colored world uh, so the next competition, next Polish championships, uh, was my first victory uh, on the national um, uh, championships level, uh, which opened me uh, in, uh, it happened in Rzeszów, Polish national championships. I'm not going to uh, talk about all, um, uh, all my path, but this is very important. At that time, I, um, I really fulfilled 100% of my program and I was on the 100% of my capacities being Polish national champion uh, 16 years 17 17 years old uh, in comparison with Atlanta Olympics this is the same emotional scale why because uh, being champion being winner sometimes seems be very relative depends what's your aim depends what your capacity is and there is no the small and big champion if you are really on the top on your capacity if you really achieve what you dreamed about it so you are the champion you are 100% champion uh, master I would say on the way to mastery uh, there is like correctional line uh, it was not a uh, dot bubble, but uh, I crashed against the uh, real Olympics and adult sport. This is quite challenging, like, you know, f from being student and go to real work. Uh, honestly speaking, it's not important. I was uh, heard by judges, referees in Barcelona being disqualified for technical reason or not. Not important. I was not mature enough to be Olympic champion, Olympic medalist. That's the point. So, uh, the, all of us, we need the time to learn more, to be capable, mentally capable, of um, using our capacities for reaching uh, the highest goals. It took several time, but uh, after Barcelona defeat, uh, I, I was faced up to another defeat, uh, Stuttgart, because I tried to convince, uh, convince the referees in Stuttgart that they were wrong. And they said, okay, go ahead. Okay, much stronger than me, than I, yeah? And uh, so I needed to uh, um, become more humble and work on my own and also, uh, also invent myself as a, let's say, product to be sold. Uh, I had to convince my clients my referees, my uh, quality um, uh, inspectors, that my technique is perfect, and I and I uh, progressively I became uh, one of the best example. So uh, Atlanta, the hundred percent of my capaci capacities, because I uh, same like Jeshuf, but different stage of uh, my uh, my life. So then in Jeshuf, I I guess after Poznan defeat that I can be one day national champion and here in Barcelona also after the Barcelona defeat I, I really start to dream about the future Olympic title it took four years but however so there is a one uh, golden path from Ar uh, um, Atlanta until um, uh, Budapest where uh, European Championship Atlanta I won Atlanta I won um, um, uh, Athens World, Ch World Championships and then uh, 
third gold competition in row uh, in Budapest. And uh, what is here? The deepest defeat I ever left. Uh, Seville, national world championships uh, in Spain. And uh, the, the competition, uh, when I was exposed to the biggest chain, uh, being already Olympic champion, European champion, and totally ignoring my opponents. I believe that with the three gold medals and all my sport achievements, I will come to the competition and just gently ask uh, my rivals who's going to take the silver medal. It didn't work. They, uh, they decided to, to, to analyze all my tactics and, uh, and they, they proposed a different one. I was upset how someone can do different way, why they don't expect me. They uh, take a lead, adventure of three minutes. Why uh, the referee from um, uh, Indonesia is showing me the uh, yellow panel. Uh, the, um, uh, uh, the yellow panel is like the one, one step before uh, asking disqualification of athletes, so this uh, conditioning uh, walking. And, uh, and I understood that uh, never ever I can't go to any mission believing that I'm invincible unconditionally and trying to, intending to repeat what I already done my best way. Repeating, it's not winning. Repeating, it's, go it's looking backward but not really aiming uh, something new. Until you don't understand, so uh, this is my, my, my own conversation, I will not understand that the title in Sydney has to be a new Olympic title, not defending the title, but trying to get something new, with also uh, perhaps a new experience and also new ideas. And then, I, uh, before Sydney, I have contested my own bet. Uh, after Budapest, where I bet with my uh, colleague uh, from Letonia that no one ever will get two gold medals in the same Olympics in walking. It's like combining 400 meter and 1500 meter. N impossible. And uh, after Seville, I start to think, maybe. Why not? I'm rather fast on 5K, performing on 20K, uh, until, uh, um, until um, uh, Sydney. I always um, intended to, um, to use my 20K as a mm, trial competition before 50, by why to not run all risk and also innovate something and uh, and there is, if there is a little chance to take the uh, two goals. And uh, this is, I'm not going to, to, um, uh, to talk a little longer about this, this story because it's all about, it's, it, it needs like a business workshop uh, because we, 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 we had to discuss about it uh, with, uh, uh, with my team. But the first, um, uh, the, the only thing I would like to transmit to you that uh, before Sydney, I read a book uh, I read a book uh, about Jonathan Siegel of uh, Richard Bach. Perhaps you, you know the little book. Uh, this is a book written by an uh, American uh, Air Force's pilot, uh, Mr. Bach, who observed the birds fly. And on the birds fly, he built a parallel. So we learn a lot. We uh, improve our skills. We develop our competences. Uh, we try to be master of little acts but we start to be really efficient and be there when we see the real goal real reason 
to wake up every morning, to be perfect, to use all our capacities to be already in different dimension. So it was about the Jonathan and I understand why I'm trying to improve my technique, why I'm uh, uh, working on both distances, because I believed already I'm on the highest uh, march of podium um, uh, in Sydney. Uh, and it happened. So the, the way uh, of the, uh, from, from Sydney to Athens was the, 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 the real golden path. Why? Because I, I understood there is no limit. I can really take whatever I want, whatever I dream. So I established two world records in a uh, very old one. I broke the, the, the old record uh, 13 years old because no one believed before that it's, it's feasible. Because, okay, we know now the, the, the story of the, about the Russian doping. The, 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 the record belong before I, I established a new one to, to, to Soviet athletes. And uh, the, there is a still one valid uh, record on the 10, uh, 400 meter of Marita Koch, the RDA. Uh, so it was such a record, yeah? Such a um, uh, world record. And, uh, and finally, when I, uh, when I, when I established the, 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 the first year um, uh, on the in European Championships uh, uh, new uh, world record, there is another year in a row, another one record, and then uh, I say goodbye on Olympic, uh, my Olympic path with a fourth gold medal. Um, because I, I uh, even, I, I, I never built the limits uh, of age, I was 36 at the, mo at the moment. Someone, some people said, okay, Robert, after Sydney, better you stop, because you know, how to say, you are not very old, but you, you may be too old to uh, achieve something, it's risky. And, uh, and I ran the risk, because I, I never believe I'm too old, I am limited. I try to really uh, take all chance and explore my chance until it was possible. And uh, I think this is the best way uh, when we do our assessment. So when you see you, uh, if once you, you see your chance, uh, try to be 100% and it's, it really works. Uh, Keep dreaming. So uh, the the guy. Uh, so the uh, as a conclusion. So the the guy was six years old. I, it's it's uh, it's a little Robert Kozeniowski in uh, the year seventy seventy four. Uh, uh, at that time, my uh, dad um, every evening for several weeks read the the chapter of uh, Captain Grant's children book. Adventure, traveling about uh, around the world and uh, meeting new cultures, discovering continents. Uh, so, and I, I stick so much to such a dream to, to travel, to discover new lands, to discover new people uh, that uh, in 30 years time later, uh, I can say I even met much more and I seen much uh, bigger part of land, of world, than uh, Robert and Mary Grant. Uh, first motivation, we, 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 we sometimes we ask about the first motivation. Uh, what, 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 what is really caring to keep your dream. So I, I never dreamed the Olympic champion. Uh, from one step to another, uh, from little town of Tarnobjek, I jumped to Poznan championships. And another, I discovered the European uh, competition. I came to Great Britain uh, 80 87. Uh, for those people uh, who uh, understand the who, who remember or who knows the, um, uh, the um, uh, shopping uh, net uh, Pevex, uh, you know that uh, I feel like being in great, great Pevex at that time. And it, it was also motivating. Still, I was not dreaming about, the, um, uh, about being an uh, Olympic champion, but still discovering myself and being excited by traveling and meeting people. Uh, thanks of my... Uh, attitude, 
uh, I have a, a lot of friends in Southern America, Central America. I learned Spanish. I have uh, Russian friends. Uh, I lived in uh, France. So the really from uh, such a great time, uh, thanks of sport, uh, thanks of my uh, dream addiction, uh, I made such a jump. Uh, there is a one person, I don't know if you uh, recognize the face, Mr. Elon Musk. Uh, uh, he, he created uh, PayPal, now he works on Tesla, uh, Solar City, and he's going to fly to Mars. And uh, I really love his sentence that uh, if you, there is a little chance, something probably only emerging in your vision, it's possible. Then, uh, you said there is a uh, sweat, blood, blood, sweat, and tears, and you are already there. Once you see the light, once you see, you catch your thought, so you are already there. You are like, like Jonathan, Jonathan the seagull. So you know how to fly, then go there. And uh, what is really amazing, that, uh, uh, being every day in line with the uh, Olympic sentence, situs, altius, fortius, so uh, faster, higher, stronger, we can really build our life on very healthy and ambitious basis. Uh, we deserve, we can deserve a medal every day. So it's not about the Olympic championships, it's not about the Champions as a title is about it's about the way to mastery and the master's ways and you uh, um, uh, You belong to, uh, to to such a group because being here and listening such a great people I really I deeply be believe that uh, already you won your day Already today you deserve a medal. So tomorrow it's up to you but uh, what is really uh, uh, motivating myself and I help all of us so this is a life plan for the next steps so when you uh, switch light tonight thinks what's what's going your uh, what was going to be your first step tomorrow because your first step makes the link from today to the goal you are, you are reaching already thank you very much thank you for your attention